This is a potato egg and cheese from Nano's. It's my favorite because it's right around the corner from my house. And I had a middle school bestie whose parents owned it. Whenever I would spend the night at her house, her mom would always ask us what we wanted in the morning. And so when we woke up, she would have like our favorite taco or whatever we wanted ready to go. I used to work as an elementary school secretary and I loved it. Every day was like a different day. I, I swear I knew every single one of those 300 plus kids and their parents. It was really fun and entertaining, but I was a single mom back then and so I needed always like an extra income. I would work late and my son was little. I took a cookie decorating class at the local Windy City supply, a bakery supply store and I bought everything. I thought, oh, this is gonna be my new side hustle. So then when Seth's eighth birthday came around, I knew that like it wasn't in my budget to buy cookies, so I decided to make them. And I just have literally not stopped making cookies since. That was for his eighth birthday, and Seth's gonna be 16 this year. I was just overwhelmed with orders. So many people from the school knew that I was making cookies, so they were ordering so many dozens I couldn't even keep up. And finally I started to understand like the worth of what I was working on and upcharge from there. I knew that I could go full time with cookies when I had a goal in mind of how many cookies I could do in a week and when I was consistently meeting that goal of getting those orders, enough to make it my full time gig. That's when I knew that it was time to go with cookies full time. To me, it is therapeutic to sit down once like all of my cookies are made, all of my icings made, to be able to just work and zone out, not have to worry about anything else while I'm there is so therapeutic to me. I love doing the cookie decorating classes because I'm an extrovert. Getting to share what I do with others through the cookie decorating classes is super important to me. I actually have quite a few people who have started their own cookie businesses after taking my class and it's never a threat to me because I feel like I believe in the rising tides raises all ships mentality that if it can help somebody else who like needs a side hustle or an outlet for them, I'm so happy to be able to share what I do with them. But I just love them, their vibe, and it's, they're a lot of fun. Pop-ups are so fun. What people see is a good time, a lot of product, me having a good time. And then on top of that, I'm making thousands of dollars worth of cookies that I don't know if people will come up, show up to buy. So I just have to trust the process, uh, lean on my own confidence to know that people are gonna show up. And if they don't, lead with a mentality that it is gonna be a sellout and then lean on the fact that if it doesn't, it'll be okay. Seven years later, I still am excited to sit down every Monday and start decorating cookies. I love that I'm able to be home and flexible for my family. I always wanted to have a really comfortable home base for my family, and I feel like I've done that. I want people to know that this one cookie that they're looking at has been meticulously crafted by me. I am so particular about the entire process of cookie making and I make sure that everything I do passes the quality check of myself, which is probably the hardest check in my opinion because I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. So I just want them to know that it, a lot of love and a lot of careful attention and detail went into that cookie.